All right, um, hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. Just want to say. What's up? Thank you for clicking on the video. Just wanna. Hey guys, thank you for clicking. I don't wanna say clicking on the video. Hey guys, bet you're wondering why I'm outside in this beautiful day. Just enjoying the air. Hey everybody, just enjoying the air outside. And. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, thank you for clicking and tuning in. This is part one of my Stratocaster build. I just happened across the body one night on eBay and a few parts that just came together. So part one's gonna be me showing the parts, doing the tuners, and then a little bit of body work. And then part two is gonna be putting on the neck and doing that scary part. So stay tuned and I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn my phone sideways when I recorded. I was so excited. So, the majority of the video is going to be up and down. So, I got some um, Benedetta humbuckers here. They're jazz. These have got a jazz guitar maker. So, I'm hoping these are going to be nice and warm. And then this, the bridge pickup, I believe, is going to be a little hot. So it can hopefully do a lot of hybrid stuff and it can be split. So maybe I can do some funny electronic stuff. Little pieces of my string tree, like another capacitor, um, some knobs, all this like little extra stuff, a output jack plate, a neck plate, then the hip shot locking tuner. little screws and stuff. And then we have the body. Yep, just found this on eBay. 29 bucks. In the middle of the night. Fit it on it. And then we won. Got some shielding paint already in it. Two uh two little holes for a bridge. The back's already routed out, set up. Just need to put holes in for the faceplate. Obviously, drill for the bridge. And then, what's this A? Boom. Go to Wilkinson Bridge two point trim. Um, I've never had a two point trim, so I figured this would be the best time to do it. And I'm just sizing it up, making sure it lines up before you know, we drill the holes. Pretty hefty. Hopefully, it has some good sustain on it. And this is just me showing off where the holes are and showing you guys. But I also made sure that when it's closed, like at the back of the block, it's not going to hit the back of the guitar. Alright, this is just a quick little how you put these hip shots in. I like these hip shots because they come with brackets which make putting them on really easy and you don't have to drill or do anything to your guitar. You just put the brackets on, slide those puppies in, and tighten them up. And this is just a quick little demo, I guess. It's funny, the first time I put these on, I put the brackets on upside down. And then I was like, hmm, I guess uh, these brackets don't always work. And then I took them out, and I wound up doing this little te technique, I guess you can call it. Where I put one on the bottom, and one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the top. And screw it on, just, just snug. And tighten them up afterwards with a 10 minute, 
10 millimeter wrench socket. Just snug them up here. Boom, here we go. You just want to make sure everything's in line. Make sure nothing's slipped out or nothing weird's going on. Alright, now the fun part. I have measured the post and uh, basically marked off how far I have to go down the drill. Oh, I saw a bug. Get that thing so I'm not trying to get scared while I drill. Okay, so. Oh, double check. Really, I'm just kind of nervous. Here we go. Oh, oh, keep it straight. Go straight down. Just nice and slow. Really, it's my first time drilling anything. Well, relatively. for the drill. Check the back, make sure I didn't go through, which I know I wouldn't have, but you never know. And it's on from there. And essentially I'm just sizing these holes up. I started off with a bit the size of the holes, going through just the clamp, and go up one side each. Eventually I went and got safety glasses because I was born with wood chips in the air and I was like, well, I want wood in my eye. So, safety first everybody. And we just continuously uh, keep sizing this hole up slowly. And I eventually marked a piece of the uh, cardboard so I didn't have to measure all the time uh, each drill bit and mark off the tape. A little tedious process, but well worth it. You don't want to size it too fast and crack the wood or just do any extra damage After learning and uh, sizing up holes, I tried to make a little makeshift mallet to uh, knock this baby in, and uh, hopefully we can get it in there. And yeah, that did not work at all. I 
after I tried to bring it in with the makeshift mallet, I looked around and saw that some candle wax would have helped, but it was too late to pull about the peg. So, at the point of return, so I lifted some help from my friend's lawn, and we hammered to death, and got it in there. And later on you'll see that wasn't too much of a good idea. I believe the hammering is what cracked the actual wood. And right there. Yep. And then uh, the paint is cracked from simply the post hole being widened. So the second post, we threw some wax on it. And literally took a little hammer and it slid in after about two or three knocks, not even hard knocks. But they're both in, nice and level, stable. I put some super glue on the cracks and the cracks haven't widened. But I'm curious to know, once tension's on it, strings are on it for a while, to see how well that piece holds. So thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for part two. Stay tuned.